The Smiling Critters will be alive in Chapter 4, and in today's video we're going to be covering exactly how that could be possible. There's plenty of theories that could potentially back this as well as an awesome animated series that we've been covering on the channel. But for starters, the main thing that I would like to point out is the fact that Mob Games wouldn't come up with such an amazing cast of characters just to have them wiped out before we were even able to see their appearance in the game. And my thoughts are quite simple on this subject, as I believe that Dog Day may have just been a little confused as to where the rest of his companions are actually hiding out in the next part of chapter 4. Now of course this is going to come with a lot of speculation but I do believe that some of these details could possibly be canon. And then again who wouldn't love to see the rest of the smiling critters including Kick and Chicken, Picky Piggy and of course Crafty Corn making a big appearance in chapter 4 and bringing some more details to the story. So with all that being said let's go ahead and jump into some of my favorite theories and dive right in. So grab your popcorn and a drink and here we go. So let's start off with theory number one and the fact that Mob Games did a huge part not only with doing different production methods but also literally coming out with teaser trailers introducing us to the whole cast. I remember in the weeks leading up to the initial release of chapter 3, we've got that teaser video which shows not only Catnap and obviously the controversy that he brought to the parents around America, but also the rest of the cast as well. They explained that Catnap was removed, however, these characters here on screen played a big part in Mob Game's line of toys. Not to mention, as you go around the entirety of chapter 3, we see cardboard cutouts of each one of the smiling critters, of course being backed by different crazy sounding voice lines. You have Picky Piggy, which a lot of people have speculated ate the rest of the smiling critters. You have Crafty Corn, which a lot of people believe killed a smiling critter over her toys and crayons. And of course, Bobby Bear Hug, which many people believe is still potentially out there. So you're telling me, after all of this evidence has been pointed out that these characters do exist in some shape or form or did exist, Mob Games would delete them out of the game before they even made a single appearance? I just don't believe that would be the case and I think we have a couple other theories to go ahead and back that. Now speaking of the voice lines, we already know that some of them are quite mysterious. You've got different screams and things of that nature that really make it seem as if something happened to each one of these characters. Of course, the ones missing the scream are Bobby Bear Hug and of course Piggy Piggy, which I covered in a video a couple of weeks ago. But since we're on the topic of voice lines here, let's just go ahead and discuss some possibilities. Now, the only thing that we know for sure when it comes to these voice lines is that the speaking parts are from the characters, but where exactly are the screams coming from? Are the screams coming from them or maybe even the people that they were attacking? We can eliminate the fact that they were attacking humans, seeing as Dog Day confirmed that they all had a plan to rebel against Catnap and of course the prototype's plan, which now is why he believes that they are no longer allowed. But what's to say that these smiling critters aren't hiding somewhere within the facility? Maybe they're no longer in the play care, but what if they were sitting somewhere in an underground cavern, hiding out for the exact moment? And even if you listen to Dog Day's voice lines, it's almost like he is telling us that they're alive. Of course, he's saying the opposite, but notice, right before he tells us about the smiling critters no longer being around and claiming that he's the last one left, he says that there are things or people listening. Of course, what he's referring to are the different mini smiling critters, which Prototype and Catnap have all around the entirety of at least the play care that listen in to anything that is happening and report back to them. But there is a possibility that he is telling us this, almost hinting to them still being alive, but wanting to keep Catnap and the Prototype off of their trail. Now, of course, all that being said, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are hiding in, in agreement with Poppy's plan and Ollie's plan. Some of these smiling critters could have gone rogue in the meantime, and that would explain the fact that Picky Piggy does say those things about maybe potentially eating her friends. 
but there's so many signs of these characters still being around. And if you go all the way back to chapter one even, you'll notice there's writing in the vents as Huggy Wuggy is chasing us. Now this writing is really similar to what I would believe is that writing of Crafty Corn. And what a story. If these characters are still out there, waiting for us to either save them or maybe even go along with the plan. This would really throw a wrench into a lot of people's plans as to where chapter 4 is going to go. But one theory that has been sticking out is of course that Bobby Bearhug could potentially be Ollie. He does sound really similar to the voice lines that we hear from Bobby Bearhug's cutout. And he definitely knows his way around the play care, which does add up. Not to mention, there's one more smiling critter that you probably think is dead for sure, but could actually still be alive as well. And that's Catnap. If you think really hard on Catnap's story and how it ended, maybe you could see him being alive somewhere down the line. You see, when we saw Catnap on the way up to the elevator, obviously things were getting filled with the red poppy gas. And if you'll recall, the last time we saw red poppy gas, we had a crazy hallucination of Huggy Wuggy coming out of a TV screen. Now, one thing I do want to point out is the fact that we see Catnap in a way that we've never seen before. He has a new presence, a new twist to his body. He's almost Slenderman-esque as he slowly climbs up along with the elevator. Now my theory here is that our player hallucinated the entirety of the last boss fight. And you'll notice that Poppy and of course Kissy Missy don't even mention the fact that we barely survived Catnap. And Ollie never calls us about any of this. So would it really be that much of a stretch to say that Catnap could also potentially still be alive? These are all things that I really thought would be interesting going into chapter 4, and with all this being said, there's a video that I would love to react to live on screen. Now this comes from a creator that we saw in a past video, and they are really, really good at this. It's a fan-made version of chapter 4, which brings in some characters that I would love to see in the actual canon version of the game. These characters include Picky Piggy, Mr. Delight, and in this video here, we're going to see Kickin' Chicken. Now, Buggy Huggy does a great job at making these fan-made content videos, but I will say it's not proven to be canon just yet, but they are super fun to watch, and if you do want to see me react to more content like this, go ahead and comment down below some of your favorite videos that you'd like to see me look at. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this reaction. Alright, if you'll recall the last time we I saw this, this later, dog us. day, oh, panic, I know what to do. Ted was... Oh, there it is. Oh my god. So somebody threw Dog That's Day's head here. And it wasn't Picky Picky because Picky Picky come comes out of somewhere oh, else. Oh my god. Alive. So wait, did she just attack? She just attacked Mr. Delight. Delight. So, oh wait, why are we grabbing Dog Day's... So what should I do? What are we Dog grabbing his head for? Dog Day. We need to find something to bandage his neck and stop the... Bandage his neck? He has no body. Okay, so I guess now we're looking for something to close off the bandage in his neck. The only thing I could think of is like the thing that was holding his body was like a belt. It's something that you would give like a tortured patient to make sure that they didn't bleed out, but you kept them alive. This is so... Oh my god, look, it's the actual belt. The same one that was holding his body up in that crucified position. Hold on, we will Wait. save you. So what, what does he even on. want to be saved I'll at this take point? Care of his wounds and you don't help Mr. Delight. He's, he's literally he's just a head. Oh my god. Wait, he... Picky Picky is just slamming. Ah, ah, oh my god, she's got. Wait, me. what? Ah, oh my god. Off. No way. Ah, no way. <laughs> Wait. Mr. Delight just ah. killed Picky Picky. Okay, wow, that was, that was brutal. a close call. I almost died here that fighting this damn piggy. So Dog brutal. Dog is still alive but need medical help immediately. Picky Poor Picky Angel. grabbed. I will move him to hospital now. Picky Piggy might have destroyed electrical wire outside. You will need to repair it while I'm out. Just find reserve batteries and it should be working again. Oh my god, that was pretty intense. So, let's just do a quick recap here. We just saw Picky Piggy get killed by Mr. Delight. Yeah, Obviously, Dog Day anyway. is now what? headless. They have a headless yeah. Dog Day. And for some reason, we want to save house. him. Unless we Someone can restuff his body. The power and then broke it. 
Find three batteries to restore power, oh, okay. and we will no longer have uninvited guests. Three batteries to bring back the power. And I cannot believe that somehow, some way, Mr. Delight went from getting crushed by Piggy Piggy from wall to wall to jumping on her back and killing her with a chair. Literally bleeding out right there. There she is. All right. Well, Mr. Delight is insane. Let's just put it that way. And it looks like we have bigger fish to fry now. We need to save Dog Day's body. We need to complete this power to, I'm assuming, maybe open up a door. And then, I don't know what's going to happen next. We still have no signs of the prototype. We haven't seen Ollie yet in this series. Only a cutout of him. And it looks like, you know, things are going to get really crazy from here. I mean... I know Kickin' Chicken is eventually going to pop up in the series. I just don't know when. Hmm. Try going upstairs and look go for upstairs. a reset panel. Okay, so we're going to go get the reset panel. Easy enough. Turn on the lights here. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the prototype. Child. Oh, did he say your job is not done, did you child? The switch? It's so I big. Wait, why didn't he attack us? Why did he attack? Oh. Are you zapping him? I just sw I swore I saw Piggy Piggy in there. Uh-oh. Lights are out. Oh. What is that? Is that Piggy Piggy's necklace charm? I'll stay here. We'll watch out for situation. Okay. I think cameras are still working. No problem. And one more thing. There is someone down there. But don't be afraid. Unfortunately, he's broken. Someone. spent a long time trying to fix him. Maybe you can find a spare battery? Oh no. Most likely, it will be discharged. Oh no. The last time that we heard somebody was down here with hey, us the and they didn't know who it was, it was Mr. Delight wanting to kill if us. You could find him and repair. He will help with advanced equipment. This will be very helpful in our task. Good luck. Okay, so we're looking for someone to help us out with our task. So I'm assuming this person is going to be good. There's a lot of experiments here. Looks like somebody's behind that screen. I can't really make out who it is. Uh, alright. It looks like we've got some Bonzo, like, toys on the ground. What's this? Oh, <gasps> wait! Is that Boogie Bot? That's Boogie Bot! I think that's what his name is. Boogie Bot! Whoa, 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 whoa! He's so big! Okay, this is cool. This could go really bad, though. What if Boogie Bot wants to kill us <laughs> i mean i guess we're gonna find some batteries to charge him up or you know what would be cool is if we can grab you know like the green the green wires that charge into him that would be super cool all right we got a battery here let's go ahead and give this to boogie bot maybe this will restore him and then he can help us out figuring what's going on with this whole thing why is he in a shooting range why is there a shooting range inside of the play care or I guess this is underneath. This is these are science laboratories with bullets. Oh my god, look guys. Wait, no. Oh my god, it is! It is! It's is this gonna charge him up? Oh, this is sick. This is so cool. Oh my god. Is he alive now? Oh, Boogie Bot! Hi, Boogie Bot. What? Are you looking for Equipment. This is now, insane. Do not have access to experimental playtime equipment. Wait, but is he gonna give us a gun? You can get access. Do you have Piggy Piggy's apple? Good. Go through the second door on the right side of the corridor to shoot yard. Oh my god, there. dude. He said the shoot yard. <gasps> a slingshot! So we aim. will be able to shoot Here things. Notice, go. guys, we've already Come gotten. On. It was oh, we, we used the flare gun before, but now we can actually shoot things. Uh, they, it's got to be a hand attachment, right? It just has to be. Wait, you get in using Piggy Piggy's charm? Oh my gosh, who's gonna hey, be out here? Thanks for fixing the bot. How do you like my old friend? I told you he would help us. Oh, is that it? Oh, there's a, a videotape here. Who's gonna be on this? Oh, it's a new hand. It's going to be a new hand. A red hand. Slingshot hand. Well, that's kind of cool. You do like a like a little... What is that? Like the spidey, the spidey hand gesture? And you can literally shoot 
that you can charge it up and shoot it. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so which hand to replace? I guess we don't really need the blue hand. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so cool. Whoa, it doesn't look like it does that much damage though. It just shoots paint, which I guess could come in handy if we can aim for the eyes of certain characters. That could actually be pretty good. Bonzo, boom. Okay, so we've got our new hands. Obviously, that's... I, I love how they have different cutouts of the toys that they were experimenting on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, no. That's probably the prototype. The prototype knows we're in here. Wait, wait. Did she say... Did she say she's going to turn off the power? Oh, no. Wait, somebody... Oh, my God. Wait, that's kicking chicken. Oh, he... Look... How big kicking chicken is, holy. I know Why? you're somewhere around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Have you decided to play hide and seek? Why are the smiling critters well, so much bigger than Dog Day? I love being the hunter. Oh no. What a cool character. He's so uncool though. Why does he want to kill us? I guess it makes sense. We're a playtime employee. The last thing he knows. You are my next uh -oh. prize. Uh-oh. You can't hide forever. We gotta what get out of here. You're caught. No, 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 no. Wait, where do we go? Where do we go? It's so dark. Oh, because we're using the flashlight. We got to use it sparingly, though. Because I think he can see us every time. Oh, I see. We're using our slingshot to lure him towards different things. But we have one more paint slingshot left. I would just use it for his eyes. Oh, there we go. We used it there. Now we can get out. We can get out. We can get out. I don't know where the exit is. Wait. Four, oh my five, god. Oh my six, god. Oh my two, god. Some kicks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank goodness for the project playtime doors. I think we're good. What on earth is going to happen next? This is insane. Oh, wait. We're back Ooh, in the offices. Electric fence is working again. There won't be any unwanted okay. guests now. Good news! So we should be also, safe. Also, Dog Day is fine. I moved him to a hospital, but he won't last long it's without a full body. We need to think where to find a new body for him. Can you help me oh, with that? Oh, that's going to be so Got a few interesting. Ideas regarding I got to see this. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was absolutely insane. Mr. Delight just killed Picky Piggy. Prototype came and took her body away like the other characters that have died in the remaining chapters. And then to add up the craziness, we save Boogie Bot and Kickin Chicken chased us around a shooting range and we just barely escaped with our lives now it leaves off saying that we need to find a new body for dog day which is going to be really interesting and i can't even imagine what they're going to do with that but guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you do want to see more reactions just like this do me a big favor make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one until then peace out